to understand how COVID-19 vaccines work, it helps to first look at how our bodies fight illness. When germs, such as the virus that causes COVID-19, invade our bodies, they attack and multiply. This invasion, called an infection, is what causes illness. Our immune system uses several tools to fight infection. Blood contains red cells, which carry oxygen to tissues and organs, and white or immune cells, which fight infection. The first time a person is infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, it can take several days or weeks for their body to make and use all the germ-fighting tools needed to get over the infection. After the infection, the person's immune system remembers what it learned about how to protect the body against that disease. The body keeps a few key lymphocytes, called memory cells, that go into action quickly if the body encounters the same virus again. When the familiar antigens are detected, B lymphocytes produce antibodies to attack them. Experts are still learning how long these memory cells protect a person against the virus that causes COVID-19. How COVID-19 Vaccines Work COVID-19 vaccines help our bodies develop immunity to the virus that causes COVID-19 without us having to get the illness. Different types of vaccines work in different ways to offer protection. But with all types of vaccines, the body is left with a supply of memory T lymphocytes as well as B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight that virus in the future. It typically takes a few weeks after vaccination for the body to produce T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Therefore, it is possible that a person could be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 just before or just after vaccination and then get sick because the vaccine did not have enough time to provide protection. Sometimes after vaccination, the process of building immunity can cause symptoms, such as fever. These symptoms are normal and are signs that the body is building immunity. Currently, there are three main types of COVID-19 vaccines that are authorized and recommended. mRNA vaccines contain material from the virus that causes COVID-19 that gives our cells instructions for how to make a harmless protein that is unique to the virus. After our cells make copies of the protein, they destroy the genetic material from the vaccine. Our bodies recognize that the protein should not be there and build T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight the virus that causes COVID-19 if we are infected in the future. Protein subunit vaccines include harmless pieces, proteins, of the virus that causes COVID-19 instead of the entire germ. Once vaccinated, our bodies recognize that the protein should not be there and build T lymphocytes and antibodies that will remember how to fight the virus that causes COVID-19 if we are infected in the future. Vector vaccines contain a modified version of a different virus than the one that causes COVID-19. Inside the shell of the modified virus, there is material from the virus that causes COVID-19. This is called a viral vector. Once the viral vector is inside our cells, the genetic material gives cells instructions to make a protein that is unique to the virus that causes COVID-19. Using these instructions, our cells make copies of the protein. This prompts our bodies to build T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight that virus if we are infected in the future. To be fully vaccinated you will need two shots of some COVID-19 vaccines. Two shots. If you get a COVID-19 vaccine that requires two shots, you are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after your second shot. Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines require two shots. One shot. If you get a COVID-19 vaccine that requires one shot, you are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after your shot. Johnson & Johnson's Janssen COVID-19 vaccine only requires one shot. If it has been less than two weeks since your shot, or if you still need to get your second shot, you are not fully protected. Keep taking all prevention steps until you are fully vaccinated, two weeks after your final shot. 
possible side effects. COVID-19 vaccination will help protect you from getting COVID-19. You may have some side effects, which are normal signs that your body is building protection. Common side effects. On the arm where you got the shot. Pain. Redness. Swelling. Throughout the rest of your body. Tiredness. Headache. Muscle pain. Chills. Fever. Nausea. Helpful tips to relieve side effects. Talk to your doctor about taking over the counter medications, such as ibuprofen, acetaminophen, aspirin, or antihistamines, for any pain and discomfort you may experience after getting vaccinated. You can take these medications to relieve post vaccination side effects if you have no other medical reasons that prevent you from taking these medications normally. It is not recommended you take these medicines before vaccination for the purpose of trying to prevent side effects. To reduce pain and discomfort where you got the shot, apply a clean, cool, wet washcloth over the area. Use or exercise your arm. Drink plenty of fluids. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.